In this tutorial, I'm going to be making a dice, and I'm going to be using this plugin, and it's going to be called the Combo Slider. This is for ZBrush 4 R5, so make sure you're using the right version. And I believe this version I'm using here for the Combo Slider is version B. And you can check my videos, and you can download this little plugin. All right. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to open up Lightbox projects and we're going to select this cube here and I don't want to have too low poly polygons or too high this is too low for right now for this dice and I'm going to go ahead and divide this and I brought it up to around 98,000 delete lower and the next thing we want to do is go to the deformation and there's a one called S flatten let me turn on the poly frames here real quick and so you kind of take a look right here and then we're gonna get something like this it's a tad jagged around the uh, edges I could add more geometry to fix it but I don't want to go too high because when I start using this plug in here it's gonna really cause a lot of problems and bog it down so I'm gonna select a combo slider and it's gonna act like nothing's happened you can select a divider down here and press H on the keyboard and here's these little sliders here um, of course, this is going to be a dice, so we want to maybe switch this over to toy plastic and a white color here. And we're going to set the uh, max angle so we can start picking up poly groups. And nothing happened here, so we're going to tone it down a little bit more. Let's try here. Nothing happened. We're going to set it a little bit more right here. Okay, it picked it up. Check all the way around. As you can see, one here looks the same color, but if we control shift click, um, this is actually uh, another group. So let's go ahead and change this so we can have a uh, little bit different color here. Uh, the next step we want to do is we want to use the uh, group loops or the auto polish. It doesn't matter. You can kind of experiment with this. And we'll take the auto polish and let's do number seven see what happens or turn on the poly frames and we get something like this so with that said um, you can use this auto polish uh, polish by feature here um, you can turn this little circle on and off or open and close and if you want to make it a little bit harder okay my next step is I'm gonna need some more geometry so what I'm going to do is here I'm going to go to the geometry and I'm going to go ahead and divide this and we'll you can see right up here uh, 461,000 uh, approximate. So my next step is I want to go ahead and hold the shift key and snap in one direction and we're going to go ahead and turn off perspective and we want to frame this mesh okay because I'm going to be using the projection master. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and select here. And what I want to do is I want to turn on the deformation and drop now. We're going to activate poly painting for right now. Then the next thing I want to do is I want to switch the uh, stroke here to the drag dot. We want to give it a nice red color here and we're going to turn on the Z sub and we need to find out the size that I want um, for my um, my hole insert and you can do the brush size 32 seems pretty, pretty good and the color RGB needs to be up Z sub we're going to put one little dot right here and with the stroke mode you can see that we can move it around um, this is the drag dot here I'll control Z that and if I want to put one right about here then we're going to do the projection master and drop and then we're gonna get something like this all right what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do two more then that's gonna be it now I'm gonna tip it to the side if I bring it over here and press F on the keyboard or frame here I want to frame it up because I want to I want all my um, inserts the same size so we're gonna use the projection master again and this time I'm gonna do one here And we'll make this number five. So we can drag 
this around if we kind of mess up. And drop that, pick it up. And I'll do one more here. We'll switch what we got here. So I'll do this side right here. Hold the shift key to snap. Frame it up. I want to do this one more time and call it quits. One here. We'll do one here and one here. Bring that back, take a look at it, and there's our dice. Um, you can go through the uh, deformation here, do polish, whatever you want. And uh, I paused the video, so I was kind of messing with it. So um, if you see any changes, because I paused the video. And if we want to make some kind of maybe a little unusual dice here, um, some of these sliders don't work with subdivision levels, and uh, we're going to go ahead and delete this one right here. And we do have our poly group still. Control key, shift key, and I want to select this right here. We don't really need to see the poly frames. And we can kind of extrude this out if you want to make a little bit unusual. And we get something like this. And that might be a little bit too much, so let's control Z that. And we'll bring it a little bit crisp about right here. And then we'll get something like this. And if we want to control key, key, shift key. And we're going to go through the polish here. Um, we can polish it out whatever we want. Make it a little bit different. that circle. Let's give it a little bit more, just take a look. Then you can get something like this.